Congratulations on your purchase of the versatile, easy-to-use Millermatic 255 MIG welder. And thanks for choosing Miller. With your Millermatic 255, you can count on years of trouble-free welding. We know you're eager to try out your new machine, but before you begin setup, please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips for the Millermatic 255, and remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. To increase mobility, the Millermatic 255 can be mounted on a running gear. To do this, simply set the feet of the welder in the pockets on top of the running gear. Rotate the four latches into the vertical position to secure the running gear to the machine. Tighten all four latch retaining knobs to secure the machine to the running gear. To remove the machine, reverse the process. Loosen the four latch retaining knobs and rotate all latches to disengage the machine. The new Easy Latch running gear is designed with our Bottle Forward technology to keep the gas cylinder secure and stable when the machine is on or off the running gear. Next, you'll become more familiar with your new Millermatic 255 through a quick overview of the machine's key features. You'll learn to properly set up the Millermatic 255 for MIG and pulsed MIG for a variety of metal applications. For your convenience, you will also find a parameter chart inside the door, a handy reference that's available for a variety of projects. Let's begin with a quick overview of the Millermatic 255 features. Your Millermatic 255 comes ready to connect with common 208 or 230 volt single phase input power. Thanks to Miller's exclusive auto line technology, no more manually linking. Simply plug in and start welding. Consult the owner's manual for the proper power hookup procedure. Power up your machine by turning on the power switch located on the front panel of the machine. Now let's look at the interface, starting with the Auto Set Elite feature. The Auto Set feature makes setup quick and easy. No matter what material you choose, you can use Auto Set Elite to set your Millermatic to the proper welding parameters. First, Turn the Auto Set Elite feature on by pushing the Auto Set button. When the Auto Set mode is on, the Auto Set button will illuminate and the process selection information will appear on the bottom of the screen above the buttons. Begin by selecting the wire and gas type being used by using the two left buttons under the material and gas selection. Next, input your wire diameter using the middle button. Then, input the material thickness using either of the two buttons on the right. It's just that easy. Auto Set Elite adjusts your machine to a weldable parameter. Auto Set Elite allows you to fine-tune your parameters to the precise settings you prefer. Should you choose to fine-tune parameters, simply tweak the controls for voltage and wire feed. The factory default settings are represented when the bullseye is displayed. By turning Auto Set off, you can operate your machine in manual mode. Use the left knob to control the voltage and the right knob to adjust wire feed speed. Refer to the parameter chart located inside the door for suggested starting parameters. Operators can also customize their weld setting and activate weld timers in the manual mode by pushing the setup button. Refer to setup video or your owner's manual for more information. To help you set up gas and polarity for the machine's multiple options, your Millermatic 255 features an intuitive color LCD screen. The screen will prompt you to use the proper gas type and polarity settings for your process. The LCD screen flags common issues, along with providing prompts for loose or improperly installed cables. Best yet, it's easy! The Millermatic 255 offers understandable word and symbol prompts, not numerical codes you need a manual to interpret. The new Millermatic 255 now has pulsed MIG capabilities. Pulsed MIG is a spray transfer that produces less heat input than a conventional weld, resulting in less spatter, warping, and distortion. Pulsed MIG is also very popular for MIG welding aluminum. The Millermatic 255 has the capability to save four of your favorite weld settings. To save a weld setting to a program, starting from the manual mode, push the Programs button. You will see the four white program tabs above the buttons. 
Choose where you would like to save the weld settings. Push and hold that program button you chose for two seconds, like a car radio. The display will show saved when the program is successfully saved. To recall the program, simply push the program button. The selected program tab will turn blue and the saved settings will be displayed. Finally, let's review gas setup requirements. Your Millermatic 255 is designed for external gas cylinders. For this demonstration, we are securing the bottle to the cart, but it could also be securely fastened to a wall or stationary support. When securing the bottle to the cart, set the bottle in the cylinder rack and secure the bottle to the cart with the safety chain. To attach the gas to your machine, remove the cap and stand to the side of the valve. Open the valve slightly to allow the gas to blow away any dust or dirt from the valve. Install the regulators so that the face is vertical. Then connect the hose to the regulator and tighten with a wrench. Finally, connect the hose to your machine. When adjusting the flow, remember that a typical flow rate is 20 to 30 CFH. Now that you've got the basics, let's take a look at the individual setups required for your specific MIG welding applications.